Hi guys, welcome to third grade chapter 11, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Now you will notice when doing this that I colored the edges of my shapes and I did them different colors so that I know how many there are on just that side, okay? So in order to find the perimeter, all we have to do is count how many boxes around the edge. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, so there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, uh, you know what? I did six up here, so let me know. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's going to be another six here and another five here. Okay, well, I know that five and five are ten, and I know that six and six are twelve. Twelve plus ten, twenty-two. It's going to be twenty-two centimeters. Okay, all right, on this one, I know it's a little bit funky shape, but it's still just the same thing, guys. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or sorry, one, two, and then 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 one, two, three, four, five again. And then across the top is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm gonna go five and five is 10. I'm gonna go two, four, six, eight, ten. There's another 10. That's all my twos. Then I just have my six more. So 10, 10, and six, that's 26. 26 centimeters, okay? I want you guys to try number four, okay? And we are gonna go down and do number five. It says, what is the perimeter of Patrick shape? Well, Patrick shape has one, two, three, four, five. So I have two fives, because the top and the bottom are gonna be the same. That gives me 10. And then one, two, three, four, five on each side too, and that's another 10. That's just 20. So his is 20, and it's gonna be centimeters because each unit is one centimeter, okay? Now, how much greater is the perimeter of Jillian shape than the perimeter of Patrick's? Well, first let's find out how many are in Jillian's and then take away the 20 that are in Patrick's. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus one, plus one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So I know that eight and two are 10. I know that four and four are eight. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. So 10 plus 12 is 22. So 22 minus our 20 is gonna be two, two centimeters. Okay, not bad guys. You just got to add it up and then do your thing. Okay, we're going to go over onto the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check just like always. And we're going to go down and do the spiral review. Order the factions from least to greatest. Okay, remember from the last lessons that we did, as long as the top numbers are the same, the bigger bottom number is actually the smallest number. So, 2 sixth is going to be the smallest. Then 2 fourths. Then 2 thirds. So the tops are the same. The bottom ones, the, biggest, the bigger the bottom, the smaller the actual number is. Okay? All right. Casey's school starts at the time shown on the clock. What time does Casey's school start? Well, it's past eight, but it hasn't touched nine yet, so it's gonna be eight, and it is right on that 30. Six times five is 30, and because her school starts then, that's gonna be in the a.m. Okay, all right. All right, so when the bottom number is the same, we need to know how much the top is. Well, this one we have four out of the eight filled up. This one we only have three. Four is bigger. Okay. Aiden wants to find the mass of a bowling ball. Which unit should he use? Well, bowling ball is for sure 
right around where pounds is, which means it's going to be measured in kilograms. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 11.1. .1. Come on back for 11.2. See you soon.